dry shampoo, an oily, greasy girl's best friend. <laughs> hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all things curly hair friendly dry shampoo. This was something that was very difficult to find back in 2018 when I kind of started this healthy hair journey of mine. I'm happy to say that the market is expanding and there are more options out there. Well, it's possible that all of these existed in 2018, but I could not find them. So for the longest time, the option of dry shampoo that I personally used and this has been long before 2018, I have been a longtime lover of dry shampoo, was your standard, you know, aerosol dry shampoo. Gotta love it. The only problem with these is that they do typically contain a drying alcohol as the propellant or propellant that sprays the powder of dry shampoo into your hair. Now, the way dry shampoos typically work is that they utilize some sort of a powder to absorb your hair's oils. So you're putting something on your hair that's going to soak up the oil. And then typically it sits there. Now, this is great for touch up in between wash days, but it does have its drawbacks. If you overutilize dry shampoo, and I'm talking like heavy amounts in your hair for six days straight, you do run the risk of some pretty serious buildup, which in extreme cases can actually clog your hair follicle and lead to hair thinning. So use dry shampoo wisely. The way I use dry shampoo is that I use it on day two, ish maybe day three and i am personally washing my hair at minimum every four days i do not go more than four days without washing my hair i know there are other humans out there in the world that can go longer than that but for me personally with the amount of oil production that i have it is unwise to go longer than that also p.s if you're looking at my hair today and wondering what i did i am testing out robe curls, sock curls, what are these called? I've been dying to try this particular method of heatless curls. So if you want to see the full video on that, make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell clicked so that you can see and be notified when I talk about this hair because oh my lanta, this is boudamous. Anyway, Back to dry shampoo, each individual human is slightly different, so the amount of time you can go in between wash days will vary person to person, and dry shampoo can be a great tool to use, but it can also be abused. So be warned, do not overuse dry shampoo. If you need to wash your hair, wash your hair. Now that we've talked about traditional aerosol dry shampoos and the drawbacks with the drying alcohol, if you are looking for an effective curly hair friendly option, meaning that it is sulfate, silicone, and drying alcohol free, I've got five options for you and they are very interesting and quite awesome. I will say that all the products that I tested out are for blonde hair, meaning that these are white powders. However, this is my hair. I have no ring light on right now. In fact, here, let's turn on the ring light, shall we? I'm gonna be blinded for y'all. Ooh. This is my 100% natural virgin hair color. It is not super blonde, like we're not platinum by any means, but it is lighter than some people's hair. So most of these do show up on my hair as kind of a white powdery contrast, but it doesn't bother me so much because my hair's this color. All right. I hope that makes sense. Most of these powders are going to work well, even with darker roots, but some of them won't. So let's just go ahead and get into it. First up, I want to talk about the Verb Gentle Cleanse Light Volume Dry Shampoo Powder. I was very excited to test out this product. However, the application, the applicator, no. I do not like this applicator. Um, it did not apply very well in my hair. 
I do love that it contains tapioca starch. I'm a little weird about aluminum. Whether that is right or not, I do get a little bit nervous when I see something like aluminum starch in a product. I need to do more research on this particular form of aluminum, but as my family has a history of Alzheimer's and there have been links between aluminum and Alzheimer's, I get nervous. I don't know if these this is founded or not, but that being said, I did really like the feel of this product. Some dry shampoos can be so incredibly gritty in your hair that your hair just instantly feels icky. I tend to prefer my hair feeling more on the touchable silky side than the extreme gritty texture side. I like some grit in my hair, just, just a little though. I don't wanna feel crazy gritty. This did not make my hair feel crazy gritty and the fragrance is so good. It is very elegant and sophisticated. It's light, floral, and sweet. You smell like a sophisticated lady when you have this in your hair. It worked great, added some volume, soaked up my oil. I just had a major problem with the application. It was pretty, pretty targeted in some places. To avoid that in the future, what I would do is I would shake this into my hand and apply like so, rubbing the hands together. I've got powder on both of my fingers and just massage into my roots. See where they were going with the application on that, but it, no, it's not consistent enough for me. Traditionally, with your regular aerosol dry shampoos, they tell you to spray it in your hair and wait a minute and let it soak up all of your grease and oils. With curly hair friendly shampoos, however, I find that you can rub them in and massage them in immediately after application, and that makes them more effective than if you were to, you know, apply it, leave it, and then rub it in. Okay, next up we have the Acure Dry Shampoo. This is a brand that I have liked for a very long time. You can find it in places like Natural Grocers. It tends to be on the more natural side. Looking at the ingredients list, I love that it contains cornstarch, but again, there's another ingredient in here that makes me a little bit nervous, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda. Baking soda tends to have a very high pH. The pH of our hair is around 4.5 to 5.5, which is below neutral on the pH scale. Our hair actually tends to be slightly acidic. So putting something that has a high pH is slightly basic, is maybe gonna make our hair a little less balanced. Usually when we put products that have a high pH on our hair, it'll lift and raise that hair cuticle up, which can lead to higher porosity hair. All that being said, there is no water involved, so I don't know if the baking soda in this product is going to be causing that particular issue. I just see the ingredient and it makes me nervous and I need to do more research. But for the sake of wavy curly science, I went ahead and put this to the test. Application was pretty straightforward. I like the application. It reminds me of baby powder. The fragrance is super nice. It is rosemary and peppermint. It's light and earthy. I like the application of this product. This is definitely one of those that is pretty gritty feeling in the hair. It added a lot of volume. It soaked up oil well, it did its job. Next up, we have my long time love, my favorite from many moons ago. This is the My Hair Dance Volumizing Dry Shampoo Powder in the Lavender Scent. I love this product. I have loved this product for years now. This is the new packaging and I like it. Application is pretty even. Since I know this product so well, I knew I was gonna like it. I just enjoyed the applicator. This contains rice starch, organic colloidal oatmeal, silica, and lavender oil. It is awesome. That colloidal oatmeal really does help my itchy scalp. I really struggle with itchy scalp. And if you're like me and your mom used to give you oatmeal baths when you were little because of your skin issues. You're nostalgic about colloidal oatmeal. 
This product contains that. It's very soothing. It soaks up oil beautifully. And this is my favorite texture of dry shampoo. It gives my roots just the tiniest bit of grit, but my hair is still soft and touchable. It is volumizing without, you know, making your hair feel like you've put sand in it. Love the updated packaging. This stuff lasts for forever. In fact, I still have my original bottle in my cabinet that I purchased nearly three years ago at this point because you use so little of this. Lasts for forever. Love the updated packaging. Another option for dry shampoo is from Pros, and I'm going to go ahead and mention this one because this was the first one that had pump application that I personally saw and played around with. I like the pump applicator on this. This makes my hair feel the most silky and slippery. I'm going to have to go back and look at the ingredients label on this to see what stands out. I don't know for sure if it was specifically formulated for my hair, which technically everything from Pros is supposed to be formulated to your hair, but I'm pretty sure they just have one dry shampoo formula that they give out to all the people who say that they are oily. I do really like this product. If my hair is already feeling a little bit too textured, dry, gritty, bad feeling, I will reach for this one over the My Hair Dance Dry Shampoo. Why? Because I have both and I have options. This works beautifully, soaks up my oil. I, I don't have any bad things to say about this. This is fragrance free, so there's that. And I love this next option that I'm about to share with y'all. If you want an incredibly budget-friendly, curly girl-friendly dry shampoo option, <laughs> use baby powder. This has been something that people have been doing for many eons. I will say that it is a little bit tricky. You do wanna put it in your hand and then rub your hands together and massage it in. If you try and just sprinkle this on your hair, if you're like me, you will put way too much in one spot and then just be like baby powder on my scalp. Great. So playing around with the application of this does help. Also, fragrance. I love the smell of baby powder. Some people hate it. You might be able to find a fragrance-free baby powder option out there, in which case, have at it. I have used this one. Also, P.S., I personally use a baby powder that is cornstarch based. I do not use the one that is talc based. There's some stuff going on with talc. They found stuff and things in talc that you don't necessarily want to be breathing in. It's unfortunate. You can do some more research, but just know that if you use cornstarch, it works great. Or I guess if you wanted a fragrance free option, you could just use plain cornstarch. This was the moment that Courtney realized she was not the sharpest crayon in the tool shed. I'm smart. <laughs> anyway, I really like using this. It does work. It will leave a pretty significant white cast in your hair if you put too much. That kind of is really stubborn and hard to get out. So you have to be careful not to apply too much. But it does absorb oil, add volume, and freshen the hair, make it smell nicer, because baby powder. And it's super budget friendly. So those are the five curly girl friendly dry shampoos that I have been playing around with, testing out, using as of late. My top favorite would be the My Hair Dance, followed closely by just standard baby powder. You can't beat that price. And the rest are all pretty neck and neck, pretty even. They all function and work pretty similarly and are good and are awesome. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful to you if you are oily greasy and need some dry shampoo options in your life. These are some that I like and work well. If you have a Curly Girl Friendly dry shampoo that you love that I did not mention in this video, let's help each other out in the comments. Comment down below your favorite and why you love it so that we can test it out too and like see why it's so awesome and why you love it. I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you later. Bye.